Let us pray for Nigeria precisely. Let us pray for Anambra State. Let us pray for Imo State. Let us pray for um, Enugu State. And let us pray for Abia State. I saw a lot of Igbos being captured. A lot of Igbos being captured. Uh, a lot of Igbo being captured in the coming days to come. I don't know how many days is remaining, but the Lord is talking about pray for Nigeria. Let us pray for Imo State. Let us pray for Anambra State and let us pray for Enugu State and let us pray for Abia State. And never you forget Abakeleke. It's, it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy this time in 2023. This just few days, not weeks. A few days into the riot, where there's going to scatter a lot of markets, houses, burn down things, and and all that. That's what the Lord is saying. He said, "Tell your people to pray for your country, please." Violence is not the option. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Violence will only bring the poor and make the poor to be more poorer. So if we go out to fight to scatter the things of people, we will keep being poor because we are making more people poorer. I will never join a protest where I will go and scatter the property of the poor masses all in the name of I'm showing my demonstration and making people angry and hungry. So let us pray for this state. A massive arrest is still going to be made in the country called Nigeria. Uh, a lot of protests are going on uh, in the realm of the spirit. A protest in Abuja City, Lagos City, Imo State, Anambra State, a lot of river states, a lot of brutal killings, a lot of brute. Let me let you know something, people. The UN is not coming for you. Nobody is coming for you. You will fight and you will kill yourselves. These people have issues in their countries already. So why creating your own issues? Don't you know there are issues already? That's what the Lord is saying. He said, even though they will come, he said they will come when you people have reduced in your thousands of number. But the worst part, the worst part is this. The protest is not changing anything. I tell you nothing but the truth. Every country is being going through their own process. There is going to be a lot of protests. So anybody listening to me right now in Nigeria, we will have four days, one week to buy things and put in your house. So maybe uh, you are talking a lot of, uh, some people are coming to talk about things. I don't care about your insult. It doesn't give me food. I'm, the, when you, the Bible says when you insult people, those people you are insulting are better than you because you are downgrading yourself and you are putting yourself low. So if you're in Nigeria, precisely, if you're in the eastern part of Nigeria, that is the time for you to buy more food stuff. If Igbos, you are in Lagos, please buy more food stuff. If Igbos in Lagos are not careful, the death rate will be high. It's going to be a real tribal stuff. It, there's going to be labeling it like the tribe of the Yorubas and the tribe of the Igbos. But the tribes are fighting for one thing, which is the election protest against the corruption of the government, according to what I'm saying. So what the Lord is saying, listen, I just got the message again right now as I'm talking to you. So it's your decision to insult me. It's your decision to mock me. It's your decision to do whatever nonsense you want to do. But the only thing is that it must surely come to pass. Uh -huh. So if you said, oh, he's a prophet of doom who prophesied for APC, he's, well, that's your business. If I prophesy for APC and it comes to pass, do I have the power to manipulate God for it to come to pass? No, I don't. It's just the grace at that moment that it came to pass. So let us pray for Imo State, Anambra, Abia, and uh, the rest of Southeast. That's what the Lord is saying. So there's going to be a lot of arrest, but buy a lot of food stuff and keep at home. Uh, innocent people will be arrested. Innocent people will be killed. Innocent people will be brutalized. Innocent people will lost their homes. And this protest will cost a lot of things. Now in Lagos, let me tell you the plan of the devil. In Lagos, the Igbos will start losing their lands, their houses, because when they want to start this fight and protest, they will say, it is better you go back to your east, where you are coming from. 
<laughs> it is better you go to the east where you come from to protest because when you protest to spoil a Yoruba man thing, it will become a tribal problem. And that's what the Lord is saying that the Igbos should protest in Lagos without fighting any Yoruba, without destroying the market of Yoruba. The Lord said, let us use wisdom. I'm, I'm saying it nothing but the truth. The Lord said, let us use what? Wisdom. Let us use wisdom because it's going to be somehow the protest will become a tribal problem. The protest will become a competition of the killing machine. This is where the person you are protesting against will now put confusion in your midst. So we should pray concerning it. If Igbos are protesting in Yoruba lands, in Abuja, in Lagos, in Oshun, anywhere Igbos are protesting, please never you destroy the property of any Yoruba man. It will be turned against you. And you that is Yoruba man, never you destroy the property of an evil man because it will cause tribal challenge. So I don't think how God will tell me this thing and I will not let you know. So go and buy your food stuff and keep at home. Nigerians, I'm letting you know nothing but the truth. Buy your food stuff and keep at home and that's the step the whole country will not be in peace it will be so radical where some people will die some people cannot be able to see their loved ones anymore people who went to the protest if they kill you they hide you and the next part again i'm saying in the same protest after the arrest we still need to pray because the president you are fighting against that was sworn in which is tenable will still be the president you know, I talked about this thing late before. I said, if Tinubu sees 2023, nothing will stop him from not becoming the president and he will stay. The court cannot take him out. And that's why we need to pray because it's only going to destroy people's life. More properties will be gone. Why do we want to fight? Now, they will now turn it into a tribal war. So even when the foreign government comes, it's now a tribal war. It is not a political protest anymore. So if you are dealing with these elderly people in the government, they have more wisdom. So let us pray concerning that. So there's going to be a lot of massive, the Igbos will be more arrested than the Yorubas in the next few days to come. I'm saying this buy stuff and put at home because the power holding companies will have a blackout that is the plan they will have a blackout and when they have a blackout and they will increase a lot of things things will be more expensive so that when you are in the in the place of protest you won't be able to buy you will be able to eat because things will be so expensive. Fuel will increase again. The dollar rate will go higher again. Then the banking system will start shaking in the same few days. So take a decision wisely to end all this war. Presidency does not help you. Presidency cannot make you rich. It is either the devil is ruling. We don't care about it. So please. Try your best as a child of God to hope on God, not in politicians. Don't go and kill yourself and destroy your family. We love you. We want you to stay alive. So political issues is not yet time. It's for you to keep praying, not to fight. Please, buy stuff and keep. Don't be among those who mix with those ones who carry gun. Because full and ease will come. They will mix all of you together in the time part of this protest and it shall be called and labor terrorists against the Tinubu regime. So it is for we to use wisdom. It is only God that would take Tinubu by himself, not human being. So every protest and everything, leave all the prophecy. I've been hearing that uh, uh, police will come, army will come, they will unseat Tinubu, they will do like this. They will do like that. Please be careful with such prophecy. Nobody is unseating him. Don't go and kill yourself and say you are protesting because you want him to be unseat. Nobody is unseating him. It is God. It is only God that can unseat that man. Not protest. Nothing. Americans are hands off. Every nation are hands off. It is only God that can unseat Tinubu. No man on earth. Write it down. 
no man on earth. If the church wants to bring him out, it's for we to come in unity. And we need to pray with love, not with anger. Huh? Are you hearing me? Because the man you hate is the man God wants to use to humble the people for some reasons. Are you understand what I'm saying? So some people say, I'm APC prophet. If I've ever received one kobo, take from APC. May God take what he has given to me. May my word never come to pass. But if I've never taken one shishi from them, you that is calling me political evil man, I support evil, you are your own household. We die of evil. Are you understand me? Because I only hear as a messenger. Now I'm not, I don't care about how you feel. God's message now have nothing to do with feelings. His face is the fact. So protest, fight, he still will be the president. It is only the hand of God. Listen, it is only the hand of God we pull him out. The Bible says, pray for your leaders. He didn't say insult them. When the election was going, we were insulting him. I was coming out to shout, stop insulting him. Stop. All of you refuse. You keep insulting him. God loved him and he found the favor. Are you understand what I'm saying? So please, whatever you do, do not destroy the home of a poor man. Whatever you do, do not destroy the home of that poor woman. The business of that Akara woman is important. Please, all in the name of protest, they will mix it up. After the protest, by the special grace of God, I will come back to tell you what will happen. But as I'm talking to you right now, he's still your president. He will be sworn in in 29, a few days from now. Simple. It is only God. Do whatever you want to do. Take him to court number 10. Take to court number 2. He's sitting down there. Nothing will put him. It take God for him to come out. Are you understanding me? Back to Nigeria. Mr. President Buhari is about to disappear. Where is he preparing to run to before inauguration? Will he leave the country before inauguration or after inauguration? So I don't know how it's going to look like, but for now, for now, let's pray and say, let God protect our president and let him do a transfer of power successfully before he leaves the country. And I pray he doesn't leave the country. And let us pray, because I've seen it twice, uh, the disappearance of Tinibu. Uh, but, but the much more that man stays alive, you can never take the presidency from his hand. It will only take God, not protest. It will only take God, not what? Protest. So our protest will land us, might land us into nothing, because there will be coffee in Nigeria again. In the whole close to like 20 states to 15 states we're going to have coffee where by 6 a.m you can go to work and by 6 a.m you are all to be inside you're not going to see anything yet the security is going to be more tighter and more powerful in the government of Tinebo. so i don't know why is it going to be like that but it's going to be so tight security so there's going to be restrictions and coffee going in and coming in in the southeast and in the south south and in the northern part and in nigeria so let us keep praying because it's going to happen it's only have few days left not weeks anymore so we're going to have experience coffee in nigeria it could be six to six it could be five it could be four and things will be so expensive again in the country. Things about the inflation will go high do you know why the lord said the youth are the one causing it he said they should pray not to fight so they would change it to be a tribal problem are you understanding what i'm saying it's still going to be a tribal problem not a protest it will be changed so before your un will come before the un will come they must have killed a lot of youth but our advice protest will not solve any problem i understand until god takes away Tinibu, he will be the president. No government will come from outside. Let me tell you why. Trump was robbed. Trump lost the election because he was what? Robbed of the election. So none of the foreign countries will come and say, we are the genuine people of the country. So they can't come because 
the Timothy people would tell them that you run your country and leave us to run our country. Are you understand what I'm saying? But the government of Tinubu will be more like uh, close to being detective, uh, what they call it, whatever name they call it. But I have to be careful what I say. But the fact that the government will be a little bit better, but the freedom of speech will not be as before, where you criticize him. Are you understanding what I'm saying? When you criticize him, you will be go in for it i understand me including some pastors will be going in for it that would think freedom of speech will come now it's not a it's, it's, it's not a problem of freedom of speech so we should be very wise in this country because most pastors will be arrested most presenters will be arrested most journalists might be killed the government will not be an easy one it might be a semi-military government in the place of Tinubu rule in Nigeria. So we should be very careful in what we say, in what we do, in so many pastors who are shouting from their altar might not have the strength to shout because they will press you a button that will shake you a little bit. So let us pray for God to specifically use his hand and pull him out. Not your protest, not your fight. I'm still saying it again. Thank you, mighty Father, for all you have done in the name of Jesus. And let us not also forget the death of the veteran artists, actors, and actresses in Nigeria is still going to continue from next week. Uh, one of the most relevant men in the Nigeria industry is about to go home. I won't call his name and I will never give you a sign of him. But let us pray for God to help him and help his family and encourage his family. That is what the Lord is talking about. Are you understanding what I'm saying? And in the same vision, the Lord is talking about who they call your Edoche. The Lord said, all of you have seen marital challenges. He says, stay off that man. And the Lord still show him, uh, showing me the marriage of me and your Edoche being restored back to peace. And that's not just that. The second part is people are the one causing problem in that marriage. The Lord said the youth, the Nigerians should stop causing more havoc to that marriage. The Lord said I will restore what has been lost. That's what the Lord is saying. So are they coming back together? I don't know. I'm just a messenger. And never us forget to pray for Shegu, who is one of the newscasters in News Channel. Let us pray for Shego's health, let us pray for his security, and let us pray for him seriously. And let us pray for another man who I don't know his name, uh, if I don't remember I can call his name. He works for the news arise. He thinks he's smart, he's very smart, very brilliant, he has good questions. Let's pray for his security and let's also pray for his good health. Because they are journalists that the eyes are looking and the people are watching. Are you understanding what I'm saying? And let us also pray for Tone to DK because the Lord is about to use that woman for greater works. And there is another fair lady, Chinda. She's from River State. She's also an actress. She's a veteran actress in the Nigerian movie industry. The Lord is calling her to do his work. I see her as a prophetess that the Lord will use to do a great and mighty thing in the lives of the youth including the life of genevieve god haven't forgotten her she's about to be used to bring help to the hopeless in this nigeria but in the same circle of genevieve circle let us also pray against divorce that is a lady that is married in the Gen in the period of genevieve time the period of genevieve let us pray for her life and let us pray for her marriage because I'm seeing divorce. I won't call her name and I won't give you a clue. And the same people around uh, the circle of Genevieve, let us pray against death, against that visiting her one of a friend. Let us pray concerning that. We will still be praying for that because the devil has come to destroy in the industry to wipe out the old veteran. Why is the devil rising to fight us? Let us pray for peace. You know, I said it two weeks before it started happening. So thank you so much. I feel like saying more, but I'm going to control myself. And, and the Lord is saying that Africa rise up and speak in one voice. The church should rise, mostly in the West Africa. 
The Lord is saying, Nigeria, rise in the place of unity in your Christendom. Forget your thousands of people you think you have gathered. Forget your millions of people. Forget your doctrine. The Lord said, if you do not come together, you will watch me look at you or die until you all come together to pray in one accord and in peace and in love. He said, but West Africa, visas being granted in the month of June. Visas, congratulations that is coming. And I see new marriages that is going to happen happen in the month of June, by the ending of May to the month of June. So I want to say thank you so much and uh, God bless you. You still want me to talk more? I will talk maybe if I come back tomorrow. So thank you so much. I still have about 40 nations the Lord is still speaking to. Let Get the new book, Walking with the Holy Spirit. Prophet Abel T. Boma brings this hidden third person of the Trinity to life with prayerful reverence and focused wisdom. Chapters in this classic book include Who is the Holy Spirit? How to be filled with the Holy Spirit? How to be led by the Holy Spirit? The source of power? And more. Prophet Ebo T. Boma reminds us in this inspiring and insightful book that Christians are powerful because we have the mighty power of God available to us through the Holy Spirit. Click the link in the description below to get yours now. God bless you. To sow and support the ministry kindly check the account details on your screen to support. To have a Zoom one-on-one -on -one prophetic session with me register with my personal assistant Abizu Osa send a WhatsApp message to plus 2348103627629 to book a date. Speak to me directly on WhatsApp by sending a message to plus 2547118032631. Follow us and subscribe on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube and Instagram at Prophet Abel T. Boma, and get recent update about the Prophet.